I freaking said that and then I like turned my head too fast so I wouldn't be able to like edit it right. <laughs> you gotta say it and then you gotta like sit there for a second with a smile on your face. Remember how I said when you first started doing your videos I didn't like the way you sounded you sounded so monotone? Do I still sound like shit? You actually sounded a lot. You sounded natural. I sounded natural? You sound like how you talk. Oh, that's good, right? That's great. You didn't used to sound like that. I didn't? I don't think I've changed how I talk like at all. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm my scary cakes. Today I'm going to give you my top five favorite products, things at the moment. And since I didn't do my makeup all day today, I'm just going to put on a mask and tell you why I put have the mask soaking. Because this one is a REP BioFresh mask with real calming herbs as opposed to fake ones I guess it doesn't say what the herbs are but there's real ones in here it smells kind of herby I'm just going to put this on and then get into it I'm going to use this these are those foundation brushes they come in a bunch of brush sets. Oh my eyes. And I just think they make good, because they're terrible foundation brushes, but they make good mask brushes. If you have a nose ring, when you put a mask on, do you take your nose ring out? I usually do when I have a sheet mask. Not like a, this kind of mask. I guess it depends, a peel off mask, yeah. So my first favorite product that I'm gonna tell you about is my A Plus Shop Miss A Setting Spray. Because I think this is like the third time I've mentioned this, but I've always said setting spray was a scam because it kind of is. But I decided to get this because it was a dollar and to try it out. And I've noticed there's a lot less transfer of my makeup onto my glasses. And I don't know about making it last longer because usually towards the end of the day if I put my makeup on in the morning, I'll still get weird stuff like right here and like right around here. So I don't know if this helps or doesn't help that, but it smells good. And the whole act of spraying it and then fanning it dry is kind of relaxing and kind of cool. I don't know. It feels good. I like that. It's fun. So I really like this setting spray. I, again, I wouldn't spend more than a dollar on setting spray, but another one of my favorites is the ColourPop. Pretty fat, pretty fresh, hyaluronic creamy concealer. I got this because I, I thought it was uh, foundation, and I got another concealer. And uh, it was an accident, but I'm glad I did because this is the perfect concealer to wear when I just don't want foundation or just want to hide the bags under my eyes or whatever. Because it, it just perfectly matches my skin tone. The I guess it's the hyaluronic acid in it. I don't know. But it's really creamy. And it blends beautifully. I just, I really, really like this concealer. But when I put it on, I just put it under my eyes. Down the middle. It's just for a really good, easy, quick, get ready in the morning, gotta go. This is perfect for that. Now this I got to replace my... I have a little face palette that I got from Ips or no Boxy Charm, I think. And it had the It Cosmetics Translucent, whatever powder that's called. And I like that powder, but I don't really like It Cosmetics. 
So I was ordering stuff from Shop Miss A, and I decided I was going to try this to see if it would replace that. Because I wasn't going to buy anything from It Cosmetics. And this, this is the banana powder, like pressed powder. Pressed powder. And this shit is great. I just found on their site that they have a translucent one. So I want to get that one and try it. But this banana one is great. It's a great powder. Like, look, I even have paint on it. There we go. I don't get paint on anything. <laughs> but, yeah. This shit is great. It blends, like, buffs in nicely to the skin. And it's not, it doesn't make it too powdery or too dry. It finishes off my base color really nicely. I really like this powder. Another one of my favorite things is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I heard everyone raves about how great Tatcha is, and I haven't, or probably will never buy that. But I decided to try this one because I said this was a dupe for it. And this shit is fucking great. It just makes my face smooth, and my pores seem smaller, and it makes my whatever concealer or foundation or whatever I decide to put on that day over this just goes over it nicely smooth and it's this is a, a great primer and for the price it's like what three something four something that's excellent i am so excited i decided to try this out i already bought a backup because let's see can you see the bottom yep i hit the bottom of this too <laughs> This is awesome. Okay, last but not least is the Smoky Glow in Midas Cosmetics palette. These, this, these. This palette is so fucking pretty. Every time I wear it, I get compliments on my makeup that day. Just, and they're, these colors are so soft and they blend, like, even, I thought Jump Cut, which is this orange one, was going to be, like, bright and, like, ugh. But it's not. It's so pretty. And all the shimmers in here are just buttery and super shimmery. This nutty shade, where is it, right here, is this duo curl right here. It's so great. It's just this, like, blue, brown, green white just beautiful duo chrome it's amazing my favorite color though is this dofa color it's like this black or brown i don't even know it's like a brown black with a blue shifting to coppery color black like are you kidding this is my favorite color in the whole palette this one is this is the nutty color this is the nutty color it goes so great over one of these other colors. And this Leno color is also just beautiful. Look at that. Now this is a great, great palette. It compares equally to the other Midas Cosmetics palette I have. It's just this formula of these shadows is beautiful it's amazing and i'm really excited to use because i've only used it two or three four times but every time i've used it just beautiful things i can't wait to get into it more i think i've used pretty much every color except basic which is funny but i've used like every other color beautiful this is definitely, I'm doing some other stuff with other palettes, but this one, when I just get a day to do whatever I want, this is the palette I reach for. It's a great palette. I don't know if it's out of stock. I think they're restocking it, but I don't really know. I hope they are, because more people need to get this palette. It's awesome. So those are my top five favorite products that I'm digging right now. So let me know if you've tried any of those. If you have your what are your favorites that you're using right now? Thank you for watching. See you next time. Have a good day.
least that time you had compared to how you used to talk. I don't know. That's just how I talk. I know. That's why I was good. Uh,